Hello once again everyone and welcome to Baldur's Gate 3 the lore series As you might remember, oh look at that, it's Bolo Well there it is Well as you might remember last time uh, It was sort of a setup episode as you know We can see Night Song's not here I explained about that in the last episode And <coughs> We picked up a few things um, That are leading our way towards a, a specific uh, a specific place so for today uh, we're gonna change we're gonna bring Laysel actually Laysel was with us already what we're gonna do is gonna um, we're gonna bench Minsk that's what I meant to say sorry my friend I got a little uh, we have settled the matter of the guild a little confused I there I fear there is something I must tell you <clears throat> you and Boo both. It may shock you both to know, but Minsk and this Stone Lord, they are one man. The same one man. Didn't we have this conversation before? And that same one man is Minsk. Oh, yeah, I think we, we had it already, yes, but uh, it was before the fight on episode 47, if I'm not mistaken, and maybe because I had to repeat it. It didn't count. We cannot be so. <laughs> Please, my friend. Your noble <laughs> tears will not make the confessing any easier. I wish to believe the Stone Lord's evil was the worm alone, attainting my thoughts with foul dung. But I see now the dawn was within Minsk all along. So I wonder. <laughs> If Apologies. Minsk can be a villain and nine fingers a hero, must it be so with all creatures? Is there good and evil within us all? <laughs> Boo calls this nonsense. Less thinking of bad thoughts, says he, and more breaking of bad bones. But still, I would hear what you have to say on the matter, my friend. Well, we can see now, um, this is the part when Minsk beca uh, begins to philosophize. I see. In the case of Nine Fingers, perhaps it was all bunched up in that finger she lost. It shall be for Minsk and Boo to be her virtuous pinky. <laughs> it is strange. A worm sits within my skull. Twisting my thoughts, but it is you that have made Minsk see the world anew. You, my friend, are the true parasite. There is oh, good thanks. and evil in all. Let us go crack villainy skulls so that the virtue might leak free. Yes, Boo. I am becoming something of a philosophizer. <laughs> Very well. Uh, I was leaving the dialogue because I don't know if I left it in the, in the previous episode, but yeah, we are going to bench Minsk, quite sad. Truly, but you have seen my hamster, yes? Yeah, sorry. Uh, here we stay then. But if Boo grows restless and chews holes in all your delicates, you only have yourself to blame. Very well. So, we're bringing Will, sorry for making the introduction so long, because the upcoming mission concerns him deeply. We got Misora here. Got Will. I don't know if I should talk to Misora. Little Will's all grown up. I can't wait to see what trouble he gets into. I beg your forgiveness for such undue impertinence. From now on, I promise him the same measure of respect he's shown his father. Oh, I almost forgot. Will sold his father's life for his freedom. <laughs> My mistake. Mm. Let's talk. Anyway, let's see. 
Uh, well, no, we don't have anything. So that's the spirit. Let will join, and I don't know if you guys remember, but at some point, I think it was precisely when we benched Shadowheart, the day we benched Shadowheart, that I told you I took a few things from her, uh, a couple of scrolls. Misty Step, although I have two. Supposedly I have two Misty Steps. The one uh, that I got on my abilities and the one from the boots. I took that. A third Misty Step. And I took the Scroll of Dimension Doors. And I told you, when we get to that point, you'll know why I needed them. Well, let's today be the day you will know why. But in any case, today we have a lot of... A lot of things to do and a lot of things regarding the history and unraveling. So let's take Will. We need to level him up. I think he was about level 10 or something. Right. He's got his uh, Infernal Rapier. It's pretty good. Uh, this, this doesn't really matter. Hmm. Okay, this is necrotic damage, maybe that, and <laughs> we want to put the Misty Step because he doesn't have it. It's quite necessary. Mm. Well, I could use Invisibility. It's pretty useful, or Fly even. You know, we need to take people that run fast. We got Astarian. I want to put visibility, and we got myself as well. I can fly, and I I think I move the most right now. Uh, okay, necrotic damage, yeah. Hmm, I want to put alert. Alert is pretty good. Very well. So let us rest. Rest, Fabian. Yes. Although the last episode we did rest, you see we got to short rest. We want to rest because we are going to a point of no return. Well, no return. Not precisely, but uh, to somewhere that we need to, um, to finish before we come back. Oh yeah, I got the Legend of Answer as well. Actually... Hmm... No, next episode. Yeah, because we will still be entangled into this matter. So, be patient. We're gonna read that. Volo, though. It is splendid to see you again, my friend. If you hadn't saved me from that mob, I'd be penning a guide to the afterlife based on first-hand experience. Perhaps you would hazard a guess as to why the mob turned on me? Hmm. Or in the red controls the syndicate of killers. She is no more though. Criticize Archduke Gorter, she controls the city. Do you speak against the cult of the absolute? They have eyes everywhere. It is not the eyes that I fear, it is the intelligence behind them. The absolute is merely the outward form of something far more. Oh, than he knows. The Lord of Murder has returned. No, As no. As he did a hundred years ago, Baal has set his accursed sights on Baldur's Gate. And his temple runs red with the blood of the innocent. We vanish him. Then, he has more than one chosen to manifest his gruesome plot. He has Orin, and he has you. What? There might be a little something that, like, Larian didn't fix. No, we already... Oh! A more he has, Odin is dead. Uh, yeah. You triumphed over Baal's Chosen? Marvelous! Yeah. It did Baal kill, uh, killed me for my troubles. Slain by the Lord of Murder. And risen again to save Baldur's Gate? Yeah. This is stupendous. You and I shall pen the book of your experiences together. My quill is trembling in anticipation. 
Tell me everything. I'll find a bar to write my tale that's a better job. Now let's tell him everything. The battle in the temple itself. It seems you followed in the bloody footsteps of the gate's old ball spawn hero. The guy from the one from BG1. My writings of your triumph. Bal's seed has been wasted, spilled on the ground once again. Oh, very well. Yep, so, as I said, we need to rest. Let's make it night. Something else happened. Oh, something I, I forgot to, to mention. Uh, Jenna is alive. Uh, I did not know about this, I didn't remember quite frankly, but if you speak with her before you kill Orin at some point, uh, well, Orin turns into Jenna and feeds you the cat. Yeah, I didn't even remember about that, but since I she's my dead. Own paring knife. Now I just need some ingredients and I'm gonna make something really good, I promise. And yeah, she's all normal. I don't know if she dies, though. I do not remember that. What? Very well, lads. We got a big day ahead of us. Big, long day. Radio. We're not gonna talk to her. Labor is the lifeblood of every city. Baldur's Gate would perish without its workers. So it is with the Githyanki. Without the Malar's swords and ships, and the gardens of Argilathk, the Empire couldn't thrive. Maybe Githyanki and humans aren't so different after all. Let's not get carried away, well. Ah, <laughs> uh, brilliant. So. We need to get to... Okay. I'm not even explaining anything. So, last episode, we um, went to the Gondians. We tried to free them. They cannot be free because they got, uh, the, their families are uh, in prison. So, we need to release them. There is that. There is also the mission that we got from these uh, ocean ladies, whatever they are. And... Today we're gonna go towards where Duke Ravengard is. Is he alive? Is he not? We could never know. We're going this way though. We're gonna run all the way around. Although there is uh the steel watchers. I think we would do well to avoid them. I reckon we can pass through here. I mean, we didn't have issues. Yeah, we're all good. Ah. How quaint. Right, so this is the the port. Blood? No, oil leading right inside. Hmm. Slim cargo, all imports and exports duly handled in accordance with the Trades Act as decreed by the Council. So this is the place in which the quarters takes the prisoners uh, somewhere else. So it is locked. Such a headache. Should be easy. We don't have guidance. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Right. Oh well, right away. What do we got? Ah oh, well. And yeah, we're not gonna waste none of our our thingies. That we imprudent. Sounds like fun. 
Okay, there we are. The damage the stereo makes. It's insanity. Uh... Oh, I didn't see this guy. Battle favors the fearless. Watch and learn. Oh, true. He only has that. At least we got the Misty Step now. It's a uh, level 5 though. Okay. <laughs> Wait, is that a goblin? What is he doing here? We haven't seen one of those in ages. Uh, okay. Ah, uh, cannot move over there. Too bad. Come on, can't stay idle. Very well. So these guys don't have anything, so we're not even gonna. <clears throat> uh, check on him. This is a goblin. That's interesting. Well, those creatures also are from the goblin camps and the Underdark. Yeah, how quaint. Now. Well, this is the normal port. I believe we're looking for a hatch or some kind of... Uh, Maybe this elevator or something like that. No. Oh, there it is. All right. So, what's coming up ahead? It's uh, very, very interesting, and it's crazy lore-wise, especially when uh, regarding the first games. Uh, Baldur's Gate 1 and 2. Those books we have read before. Nothing around. Okay. Machine Parts Storage. Infernal Iron. Tips tool, they always necessary. Right, and here we got this as kind of submarine pod and this guy. Now, explaining the mission on the ocean ladies, whatever they are called. I'm gonna call them ocean ladies because I don't really know. This is the beast they were talking about. This is the beast that killed their member. Supposedly, this guy did it well that's the way i understood so uh you can see all the missions that we picked up like a uh, three or four are gonna get conjoined into this uh one video it will pretty it will be pretty good in my opinion i'm pretty excited today we are awaited by a lot of stuff let's see what we can manage here Oi, what's this you ain't supposed to be down here, mate. You spot a curious metal contraption in the water. A submersible. Hmm. Hmm. You kill one of those servants of Amberly. Now they want you dead. Oh, yeah? And are you here to make good on that? Uh... You kill someone, you need to face justice. Oh, okay. Paladin and style. And judge, jury, and executioner. Is that it? Yeah, right. Well, that's the Say paladin goodbye, way. Kid. I need to impose justice. Just... Just a little, a little thing, lads. So, you're a worker uh, of the port. You see some drow warlock and the Yankee, and you say, yeah. Surely I can beat them all up. 
sure you can build them all up, mate. I mean, look at that. It's a little sad, even. Oh. Well, Eldritch. Oh, wow. Okay. Maybe I jump into conclusions. Very well. I mean, we promised justice, so... Nothing can be done about that. It's the way of the paladin. In any case, we're gonna get through here. And so it begins. You see? We cannot really uh, warp back. That's what I meant. We cannot go to camp. We cannot warp back. So... Off we go. Now, if you made it to this part of the video, there are a few things that you don't know, the, you probably don't know unless you played already, that I'm gonna tell you now. So, Will's father is here. He is. There's also another companion, another friend of us, that you might remember or might not. And the Gondians as well. The Gondians are here. The, the family of the Gondians working on the Steel Watch. Aren't you the intrepid little adventurer? Digging and diving where you don't belong. No, Gortash. Fuck you, Gortash. <laughs> uh, I'm here to rescue the hostages. Wrong. Your presence here is the only real threat to their survival. Dead. They're no use to me. So I keep them safe. After a fashion. I have prepared for this eventuality, and if you interfere, I will destroy the Iron Throne. Return to the docks, or the deaths of everyone inside will be on your conscience. Your mind turns to the Gondian hostages, bound in fear, their futures hanging by a thread in Gortash's web. Very well. So, I explained you the movie, lads. Once we get to it, this whole uh, process of self-destruction begins and we have only a few turns to make sure to save everyone. That's what we want to do when I make a save. The idea is to save everyone, obviously. But yeah, we're gonna get to it. We're not gonna turn, we're not turning back. That was a mistake. When the corpses start to wash up on the shore, remember, you could have prevented all of this. And so it begins. What a good pilot I am. I am. Very well. So, once we get to it so yeah I'm gonna put this on me uh, should probably put it on someone else now I'm gonna put it on me we only have a few a few turns to Hint. work it out a cold suckering oh. wetness grasps at your mind voice familiar to you from the underdark wraps itself around your brain you must act with haste duke ravenguard is held within these walls he must be extracted Omelum. so if you guys don't remember this is when we were in the underdark in the myconid village with the mushroom people this is the mind flayer that we met the one that was a member of the society of brilliance if i'm not mistaken Normally, I would find your people's lust for pleasantries amusing. Unfortunately, we have no time. There are many hostages here. Duke Ravenguard, chief among them. He needs your help. Tell me what to do. 
I want to free the Kondian hostages. It is painful to say, but they cannot be your priority. Duke Ravenguard must be saved. The city needs him. Hmm, I mean I can persuade him, right? Oof. I was only trying to secure this city's future, but you are correct. They disapprove? Can, we should save the hostages too. Duke Ravenguard is held in the security wing. The hostages are placed throughout this prison. You must stretch your resources thin if you want to secure them all. Right. Be careful. There are many hazards. This structure is collapsing. Act with speed. Act with efficiency. Good luck. Hence the reason for have been um the scroll of misty step and this and two scrolls of <laughs> teleport person this way. so i explained the movie lots i feel like that's my iconic phrase nowadays these are all the people that are being held hostage you see everyone is here that's duke raven guard right there everyone else is a gondian hostage yes but here it's Omelon. And the idea, really and frankly, it's to save them all. So, we're gonna first of all have a look around. Actually, I'm gonna save as the, as the fight starts because it's quite difficult to save them all. This is Duke Rivengard. So, I think my paladin will go that way. Uh, although it's a... It's a Yeah, it's a shorter... What would you call it? It's a shorter trail. There is people here. There is Omelum. And well, there's just lots of people. So, we have to think this really well. I need to send two people this way, maybe. Or maybe one here and two here. No, yeah, two people this way. Um, no, actually, I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna send two people this way and one this way. Because we had to get in and get out or open here. That could be a star and that can go that way. Okay, yeah, I more or less have an idea. We free someone there, and well, yeah, I just I just use my action. But we wanna start moving this way. It's six turns, as you can see, and we gotta get everyone get, has to get up, get up here uh, before the six turns. Maybe we can sacrifice ourselves or someone from our team because we can revive them. But it's most importantly to save Duke Ravengar and everyone else. No Very well. Hmm. I ran out of move already with that. So I think I'm gonna send Will this way. Let me have a look. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right then. So there is that person there. Hmm. I wonder if I can throw this here. Right.
and I'm gonna start moving in my head. As for me, I am just gonna go whole ass towards Duke Raven Guard. I do have my fly. How far can I get? my misty step I wanna do the dash wonder if the gods are watching me the Duke's still alive I'm coming keep going It's very important now that we heal him because that's Misora's laugh. Because, uh, well, Misora's gonna try to to mess with him, to get him to die. He, she's not gonna kill him precisely, but she's gonna start sending things. I don't have enough movement anymore. Very well. The Duke is alive just yet. We have to start looking at this. Very well, lads. This is about third try because someone else died. Uh, now we we want to get it perfect, perfectly. I still stubborn on my paladin coming this way, though. I don't think that you will survive it uh, differently. I can... No, I actually need to kill these things. Probably a better idea. movement but not that much movement uh, and I'm gonna put I, I'm gonna stay in front of him if I if I can't move any longer just to protect him yeah I think Lacell is the only one prepared for uh, to go all this way alone
I don't have to forget that I still have a Misty Step scroll and two scrolls of uh, two scrolls of uh, teleport. That is just uh, the action. That's not good. Right, that's his daughter. He talked to us about it. Okay, the Duke is gonna free someone. And he's gonna... No, she's not gonna move. Because if he moves, Misora conjures the... Oh, these are dead. Poor things, anyway. She's the one who died in the last uh, in the last run. Um, yeah, I killed them. I killed the things now. Right, Austin is pretty far behind because uh, he used his action on killing this guy and opening this. See it. That's five turns still. And not too bad. Not too bad. I heal the Duke. And I'm gonna heal him again. And we should get moving. But the thing is, if I move... Best be on my way. And he stays behind. It's not gonna be good. Very well. Now the Duke moves. Will Problem. I was hoping you'd bound along. A bargain's a bargain, and I've come to see it through. Fuck you. Exactly what you asked for. Now, stand back and enjoy the show. Fucking bitch. 
Okay, these guys are gonna make it. Uh, that's the girl who didn't make it last time. There's still four turns remaining. Surely they can make it. One of them is ensnared. There's the spiders. Okay, okay hopefully those uh, focus on laser. There we are. All good. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Now this is a way longer way, probably. Very well then. I don't have enough movement for that. And I had to think here, I don't really know what to do. She can do it herself, bro, uh, definitely. So I'm just gonna focus on uh, getting people through. Right. Shouldn't have made me your enemy. Right. Now we can start moving. But I do need to help him. Right. My path be true. I don't have any more actions, do I? No. On four turns, surely I can get out. Duke needs to move. Thanks. Four turns remaining, three turns more like. We're doing good. I'm curious to know if the trophy will pop because I don't know if I've done this mission correctly. I don't know where they are. They are being attacked. Okay, it's right there to the right in front where Will is, I think. I have a turn with a stallion, so hopefully I can do something. I missed. Come on, move. There he goes. He hasn't gone hasn't gone up yet. Ah, that's where that's where Laysel is actually. Right. Let me 
we have a look. Right. Only laser left. We gotta try. We gotta try, lads. Right. Okay, there is those guys over there. As far as I'm concerned, there is no one else. Ah, but it's Lay Cell. So this is where she's com gonna come through. Mm, dilemma. Three turns left. Mostly two for laser. I feel all those people have not gone up yet. Really is a dilemma. I have the scroll of teleport though. I still have it. Can't slow down. Okay, so let's go. There goes my action. Definitely cannot do this, can I? No. What have you got? Teleport to submersible. Uh, teleport yourself and up to one of to one ally back to the submersible. Oh, he can do that. Brilliant. Swift and lethal. Then. Let us move. Laser still has turns, so. We're, we're all good. Because I don't see you, because I don't have movement. No time to waste. Is that it? Okay. Okay, he still has three, uh, two turns, so we're good. We're good. Those guys, though, are they gonna... No, it's just us. So it's fine. Okay, those guys make it, right? Right, those are safe.
Right. There we are. I will aid you as much as I can, but hurry. We have little time. Who else is left? Only that one. And Lisa is here. She can make it. Okay, he's safe now. Yes. Now we can only go... I mean, everyone else is safe. Yeah. Only Lacell left. I'm gonna send them all up now. Just do a little jump there, man. Right. Hmm. No time to waste. <laughs> okay. I don't want to leave her behind, though. Probably should have done that. I just realized there is one other gnome over there. I don't know if he'll made it. He'll make it. Uh, right, Lisa. Hold on. Let's get out of scythe. And this is... Uh, this is intense. <laughs> Fucking hell. Okay. I still one I still got one more, right? Duke Ravenguard? He's on? Those guys will never make it. <laughs> Come on. He surely makes it, right? Ah. Uh. Okay. Nah, that's too... that's too far away, I reckon. Right? Yeah. What? I still got my last round, right?
Come on. A lot of people criticize this mission. I don't know. I think it's pretty fun trying to get them all. It certainly is a little bit intense. Imagine in tactician. The way I suffer in tactician. Don't even care about the hit. It's getting them all up. The little guy is the only one left. He missed. He died. He's dead, Phoenix. There's no helping him now. Nah, we we're gonna have to to move on. We couldn't save them all. I could have thrown a healing on him before getting up myself. It's over now. It could have been better though. Did you get saved though? <sighs> Very well. So that was something I made about three or four tries trying to save them all. And in the end I couldn't. One of them... Uh, die regardless. That is sad. Calmness greets you upon exiting. Oh, saving the submersible. Unlike the Iron Throne. You remain intact. It seems most of the hostages from the throne share your fate. She Except for one man. You, looking confused. He's tangled, but under my protection now. Just like you. His mind is his own again. Father. Oh, there he is. Well, God, it pains me to look at you. My Baldrin's graces. Why have the hells ordained you to save me? Your tadpole resonates with Raven Guards. The exhausted Grand Duke is a flurry of emotion. By every last hell, son, I roll all my head. Ravenguard's head still aches so powerfully the pain seeps into you. The absolute may be silenced, but the Duke's parasite still remains. I know you have questions. Please go to our camp. You'll be safe there. We'll talk soon enough. Ravenguard answers with silence. He and Will have much to discuss. Very well. We actually made it! Oh, it could have been so much better, lads. I'll save you! Please, I want to ask you something! I have a, a conversation, it, it appears to be. I don't know. It will. Okay, it doesn't show. This is the Condian's daughter, the blind Condian's daughter, Obelia. Obelia. I just... I... I can't thank you enough. I was certain that place was to be my cold, wet tomb. There were so many of us scattered through that place. To save so many was... It was brilliant. Just 
brilliant. We were kept hostage to control our families and the Steel Watch Foundry. To keep them building Gortash's death machines. Please. They need to know what happened here. They have no reason to obey Gortash anymore. If they rebel, it'll put a dent in Gortash's steel might. Yeah, your father sent me. He... he did? Of course he did! I knew it. I knew he would do something. So we rescue... Omelum as well. I don't know how to pronounce his name. That's the guy we met on the Underdark. Uh, man, we could have saved them all. We were so close. But nonetheless, Will has something to say, I think. Father will be waiting in camp. It's about time we talked. Is that it? Maybe we need to get uh, to get out. Your world's air. I never imagined missing its feeling on my skin. Curious. I owe you a great debt, child of the dark. One I shall repay. When I return to the surface, I will alert my colleagues at the society. Find me there, and I will offer you what aid I can against this evil. Well, there you go. That's an ally uh, in the wars to come, in the battles to come. Yeah, let's get out, lads. The bay is tainted with black blood. Oh. The Wave Mother's citizens wither and choke. Did you do this? Wait, sorry, what? Hmm. Okay, so we did kill. We did take revenge on the guy, but now it says that we are uh, contaminating. Uh, the Iron Throne is gone because of me. I will tell you waters no longer. Save the hostages from an underworld prison. No harm to the sea was intended. So often the Wave Mother pays the price for the sins of men. But you killed the Beast's master. You've earned this. The restoration of the harbor will take a long time. Black blood clings and stinks like death itself. With the Bitch Queen's blessings, we take our leave. Oh, very well then. Look at that. It's well, it's, it's nothing too good. But I bet it looks cool. Okay, so there's the lads going out. Ah. We're all separated. Okay, then. Submersible's broken. Can't seem to turn it on. Submersible's broken. Well, I guess we get out once at a time. Hold on. So. Never a dull moment. We free the Gondians' families, the relatives. We are to fight the, uh, the Steel Watch once again. This time for good. As for the... Mm, as for the, the Iron Hand clan, they surely will have something to say about this, you know? Father will be waiting in camp. It's about time Is that all? Talk. Maybe it's because he needs to go to camp. In any case, we've done the Ocean Ladies mission. We free the Conian's relatives. We need to see what we're gonna do with the Iron Hand clan. But we're gonna go 
towards the steel watch. Maybe we should go to camp. See what's going on. If I get the conversation or something. Very well. Look at that. Right. I'm gonna talk to Miss Sora first and then Will. I bet you're pleased with yourself. Saving Ravenguard and making a fool out of me in a single swoop. Go on. Do your gloating. You've earned it. Damn right I did. My father is safe and my chains are broken. Yes, celebrate your fortunes. But remember that they are lost as quickly as they are gained. For now, you've tipped the scales in your favor. But all it takes is a whisper for me to tip them back. Shut the fuck up. Oh. Oof. If I have inspirations, I'm gonna use one of them. Okay. Critical. Raven Guard will fall. I will strike when the Duke has the most to lose. And I have the most to gain. I hate her so much. Uh <laughs> I know you will come for him. Try it and I'll save him again, Ike, and kill you while I'm at it. Clause A, Section 2. Uh, Should uh. Soul Holder choose to abandon his patron, he is freed from his duty. His father, Grand Duke Alder Ravenguard, will be thus fated to die by an enemy's hand. A sealed pact is mightier than even Asmodeus's ruby rod. Do you think by merely saving a duke that you were ripping it through? You're such a witless little thing. Laugh in the face of the Archduchess Zariel. And she only laughs back. By all means, struggle and seethe when I come for Zariel's prize. Play the hero. Put up a fight. But don't forget who signed away his own father's life when Raven Guards finally bled. I swear to God, lads, I wanna find a way to kill her. I'm afraid that's not an option. I'm quite stubborn, you see. Take a swing or a stab if you want, but I'll just slip away for a breather. One of the perks of being a half devil, of course. Father will be waiting in camp. It's about time we talked. Yeah, no, he doesn't say anything. He's right here. Oh, God. Fucking hell. First you cleave my heart in twain. Now you shatter it to pieces. My son, a monster. Twist it beyond recognition. To think my blood flows through those veins. Is this my fate? To be freed from Gortash's hell, only to be trapped in yours? It isn't what you think. It never was. You turned your back on me. On your city. To chase the she-devil and her power. She stinks up the place even now. It is exactly what I think. Jesus. Oh, man. I went through some trouble to save this guy. And I lost a, a gnome in the way. Connect with, uh, connect with father and son. Rivinga should know the truth. Ooh. Yeah, let's do that. He's gonna get convinced. Ravenguard's tadpole clenches as your memories and wills flow into him. My tears rose. 
I'm in your mind. The Grand Duke sees Mizora and her infernal sisters. He sees the agony in Will's face as an impossible choice is set before him. No. My son. The past becomes present, and Will's thoughts are laid bare. Raven Guard sees Will partnering with Mizora to defeat Tiamat's cultists before they could lay siege to Baldur's Gate, and he sees everything beyond. The Nautiloid journey, the perilous path to Moonrise, the Astral Prism, and the Emperor within. Will. Everything I did, I did for Baldur's Gate. I did for you. Well... <laughs> Say nothing. My son. You sold your soul to save Baldur's Gate. And I cast you out for it. You gave yourself to the Hell's Eternal Fires so I might walk free. By the gods. Can you ever forgive me? There's nothing to forgive. You wanted to protect the city. I only ever wanted the same. You are a better man than most. And a better son than I deserve. I'll yet make amends, but... My duty is first and foremost to the city and its people. There's something I must ask of you. Before right. I was captured, I was on a mission. Returning from Elturel, I discovered the plans of the Absolutists. I immediately realized the city couldn't defend itself against such an army. And I didn't despair. Because the city has a secret guardian. The dragon. A worm that sleeps beneath. He can be called upon in times of great need. This is such a time. You've been trained in the ways of the great champions and proven to be one of them. The worm will answer your call. You must seek him out. Well, yeah, we know this. We've, been, we've talked about this before. A bronze dragon, yes. He sleeps beneath us even now. Awaiting a hero to rouse him. The worm goes by many names. Answer. The waiting storm. The heart of the gate. He promised Baldurin he'd protect the city if ever its existence was threatened. But just the once. Since then, the city has faced countless threats, but we always overcame. There was never a need to call on the worm. Until now, the Absolute is the greatest threat Baldur's Gate ever faced. The worm must be awakened, and the task falls to you. Take this. The Legend of Ansur. An ancient epic. We already have it, but remembered, okay. Remembered, dismissed as a mere tale. Let it set the path before you. Thank you. And may the city know the truth of my only son. Pride of Raven God. Pride of Baldur's Gate. Very well. There you have it. We got the book. We had it before, and I was saving it for this, but we are giving it uh, again. I didn't know. We'll finish what my father couldn't. We'll awaken Ansur, the heart of the gate. I disappointed him once. I won't do it again. Go on, read the legend of Ansur. Then we can plan our next steps. 
Will do. Uh... Very well. So yeah, let's let's read it. Um. Was was I given it? Or am I blind and I can't see it? Hmm. It has it has to be here then because I already have one. Maybe it kind of messed with the game. Very well, lads. Uh, we're back because apparently it's a little mistake that the game has that was never fixed. You can see the Duke is looking quite distressed. It's because I had to pickpocket the book from him. <laughs> he never gave it to me. Here it is. Uh, Baldur's Gate, Great Baldurans Birth. A Baldurans founder to veneration. His guardian dragon answer, tremendous in worth, a savior below our eternal elation. To worm way neath prison's deepest level, to be found by uh, by not a soul nor devil. Uh, there's a note there. Entrance in Worm's Rock Prison? Question mark. With a lightning shock, a true hero spark flickers. The torches alight, and Worm's eyes shall awake a glitter. There's another note right there. Something about sparks and torches use lightning skills. Okay, so these are his own. Uh, Conjectures or something like that. Its trials no common adventurer may exceed. When each day sends forth a uh, new ones to their fates. But one great hero by the founder's will decreed shall only once grant our age the heart of the gate. And that's it. And so that is it. But what's this of a true hero spark? We'll have to figure that out. But with that being said, I hope you enjoy it, lads. And I'll see you in the next, in the next episode. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.